When planning your first studio setup, it's very important to make sure you don't forget some key pieces of gear. I've seen people under budget a project and in the end felt beat up in the process because they had to keep purchasing gear that they didn't account for. This could all have been avoided with proper planning and realistic budgeting. I remember when the first Roland Digital Workstations came out, a 16-track recorder for $2,000. People would spend all their money on this recorder thinking they were all set, but forgot that they needed multiple sets of headphones, a headphone amp, multiple microphones, monitor speakers, and cables to hook everything up, and many other important necessities. At the end of the day, the bill came out to nearly twice their original budget. In order to help avoid this, here's a simple list of things you may need when building your first basic studio setup. A computer. If you're recording more than eight tracks at a time, I suggest getting a pre-built DAW system. Interface. Interfaces could be all-in-one or separated. When I mean all-in-one, it means mic pre's, the actual interface, and the A to D's all-in-one. When I say separated, a separate digital card, a separate A to D converter, separate mic pre's. Another thing you'll need is preamps. If it's not already built in, a separate microphone preamp is needed. It could be either in the form of a channel strip with EQ and compression or just the mic preamplifier itself. Next, a signal processor. You might need EQ, compression, reverb, things of that nature. You don't want to forget about speakers. In this case, it would be studio monitors that have the amplifiers already built in. Then you want to get recording software. With your pre-built DAW system, you still get to choose what kind of recording software you want to put on the computer. Once you have your recording software, then you need to select your plugins and virtual instruments. And those could be within the host software or they could be third party plugins. One thing that people usually forget about is a monitor controller. With using a DAW setup, you no longer have a volume control like you would on a console. So a monitor controller is used to have a physical knob between your DAW and the actual speakers. Headphones and a headphone amp. Usually, if you have a headphone amp built into your interface or into a console, they're usually not as powerful as you would like them to be to record drums or anything like that. So you'd want to get a separate headphone amp and specifically with multiple inputs on it so you could actually feed separate signals to different musicians with different headphones. Of course, you don't want to forget about microphones. Um, microphones comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes, all sorts of patterns. Uh, depending on what style of music you're using, uh, there's a plethora of microphones to choose from. When you go to do vocals, you're going to want to make sure that you have a pop filter in front of your microphone, and this will cut down on the P explosives and any kind of uh, popping sound that comes across on the microphone from wind from your mouth. One of the other things that people usually forget is cables. At the end of the day, once you buy all this equipment, you still need to connect it all. And, you know, cables could run anywhere from $10 to $100 per individual cable. And at the end, you could see that that could really change your budget. So remember to not forget about the cables and how you're going to connect all this stuff. And let's not forget direct boxes and specialty boxes like the phaser. Now, direct boxes will allow you to record the guitar or bass guitar directly without using a microphone or a cabinet. And the phaser allows you to dial phase between two signals. So let's say you're using two microphones on acoustic guitar or a DI box on a bass with also a mic on a cabinet. You get to adjust the phase with the phaser to line those in so you have no cancellation. These are just some of the basics that you'll need, though you could always expand certain categories like adding a control surface, which is of course a nice addition, but not a necessity for actually recording.